Hey, Bill, and it was wonderful having you in here yesterday, and it's a happy birthday to you today. Let's um, take you through some of the things we focused on with your golf swing, uh, starting with um, uh, our setup position. Um, you were setting up pretty good. Um, didn't make too many recommendations as far as that was concerned. I, um, um, we focused mostly on uh, the feeling of your backswing and, um, and how to better clear through the shot so that your arms could swing left. That was one of the things you were working on. Um, to start with, um, you said you've always been a, uh, uh, a club head underneath plane caught behind you. You've tried a variety of different things. Um, this is your initial move away. And you'll notice how that club head really um, swings back and behind you by, quite quickly. And um, there's always a cause and effect for things. And if you take a look at the gappage you, you have between your elbows at this particular point, that's really the culprit in what's causing that to happen. So all I had you do, I just simplified your thoughts. I had you focus on keeping your elbows close together. And, um, and I put a little uh, reminder there. I put a small little ball between your forearms so that you could hold that in position and then you just took it away. And there's a significant difference in your, um, your initial swing to uh, what this exercise, this little drill was helping you, you feel. And so as a result of that, um, you got into a good position, kept the gap, and was able to execute quite nicely through the strike. Um, you can see at the top of your swing, there's a significant difference between uh, uh, the gappage in your elbows from here to here. And if I take you back up here again, you're going to see this is a, a little short, little quick little swing. But there's a nice angle that you're working on with your practice swings. Certainly when you go to hit a golf ball, it got a little bit shorter than, than normal. But that's a tendency when you're working on the drill. But your angle approach is good. Your arms are nice and tight together, and um, you were starting to work through the shot quite well. You see how you exit a little bit more um, with your arms swinging more left. You can see where your hands come out underneath your left shoulder, whereas from this position, you kind of hit off your back foot, swung too much inside to out, and then your hands exit over here by your neck. So a, a big difference in the way that... Uh, we're able to keep uh, uh, everything turning through the shot. Um, I gave you one simple thought as far as uh, your forward swing was concerned to kind of match up the feeling you had uh, with your, your arms. And that is just to feel like you um, really uh, released your right hip towards the ball coming through the shot. Feel like you hit the ball with your right hip turn that encouraged you to kind of get off your your backside and uh, let your arms stay tight together and everything then blended and, and unwound through the shot. So a couple simple little thoughts um, with a good practice drill. You keep on working on these uh, drills and exercises and you're going to see some great results in a very short period of time. Until next time, happy golfing.